and um, good evening to you all friends from the media. This is our last press briefing for the day. And we are very happy that the pools have actually ended successfully. Pools, we all know, have officially closed at almost all polling stations across the country. Our reports have shown that the exercise has been exceptionally successful in all places, except in very few instances where we had minor issues. For places where there are still voters in the queue before 5 p.m., all of them would have the chance to vote before sorting and counting starts. And as usual, what we normally see at the polling stations is that immediately it is 5 o'clock, the security man stands at the back of the last voter so that no any other voter can join the king. Let me now turn my attention to the two specific issues. One, a from Plains North constituency. We have received reports about challenges with the polling stations located in the Dwarf Island. That island is one of the hard or very difficult areas to reach. And ballot papers and other voting materials were airlifted to the island at 9.30 a.m. The aircraft had two islands to airlift ballots to. The first one is the Dibya Island and the second is the Dwarf Island. And it took at least two hours for the materials to be distributed to all the police stations on the island. Hence, voting started late. Following a review of the situation at 5 p.m., the commission has decided to extend voting in these areas by five hours. So in the Dwarf Island, there are a number of polling stations situated in that island. And uh, voting has been extended by five hours. So voting as we are currently speaking is still ongoing and uh, will end uh, at about 10 p.m. However, all voters in the queue after 10 p.m. will still get the chance or the opportunity to vote. The commission has also made adequate provision for light. We have provided solar lamps in areas where electricity is a challenge. And these solar lamps have eight to 12 hours of light provision. If you look at this arrangement, the commission on its own purchased rechargeable lamps, which have been distributed to all polling stations. In addition, the electricity company of Ghana also um, gave or donated some solar lamps to the commission. So you can actually note that for a particular polling station, we can have as many as what? Two rechargeable what? lamps. So in case even one becomes 40, we can fall on the other. And that is exactly the provision that we have actually made. Two, German North. The German North constituency has been the only case where we have had a significant challenge. As a result of disagreements between the political parties on the voters register, 
voting did not start at 7 as planned. After much discussion among the EC and parties, the issue of the register was resolved at around 12 o'clock. A decision taken by the District Security Council to postpone the elections without clearance from the commission was overruled and the commission instructed that voting should proceed. This means that there was an earlier decision by the DISEC and they did not actually consult the commission. So the decision taken by DISEC was overruled. However, several efforts by our officers to move materials to the 92 polling stations in the constituency was unsuccessful. The security teams on the field could not guarantee a safe environment for the pools to continue. Therefore, as a result of the security challenges, the Commission has decided to reschedule the elections in the German North constituency to tomorrow, Thursday, December 8, 2016. And as usual, voting will start from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. at all polling stations in the German North constituency. We sincerely empathize with the anxiety and confusion suffered by voters in this constituency, and we would like to assure them that adequate arrangements will be put in place to ensure everyone on the register in the German North constituency who turns up can vote. Ladies and gentlemen, we are extremely excited that our plans and preparations have yielded good results. We have received commendations from all over the country about how successful voting has gone. We have now entered the next phase of the exercise, which is the sorting and counting of the ballots from all the polling stations. We will continue to give you regular updates until the final results are declared by the returning officer. You can also attest to the fact that we actually did not encounter breakdown of BVDs. We have what we call the EC operations SMS text, which kept on reminding presiding officers the need to change batteries every four hours. And this has actually worked to perfection if you compare to 2012, where the elections was carried over in some constituents, in some um, regions, to the next day. We thank you very much, and uh, we hope that the sorting and counting of ballots will be as peaceful as the voting exercise today. Thank you.